All right, guys. Um, details are beginning to emerge that Tinubu might soon release Namdekano, and uh, this is why we are actually saying this now. With the um, appointment of Bianca Ojuku, the green light is beginning to shine that Tinubu might release Namdekano. Now, this is what Aloy Ejimako, Namdekano's lead counsel, said. He said that Bianca is well positioned to advise Tinubu on releasing. Namdekano. Ejimako explained that the new minister could inform Tenuba about the negative impact of Kano's continued detention in Nigeria international image. All right. Now, it's not the first time Bianca Ojuko has called on the release of Namdekano that the release of Namdekano will better the situation in the, in the, in the, in the middle, uh, I mean, in, in the southeast. It will help this insecurity situation that is that is actually uh, affecting the southeast, it might contribute to it. Now, this is what Ejimako also said. He says, as a new minister of state for foreign affairs, she is now in a position to advise the president on the damage that Mazenam Dekanu continued detention is doing to Nigeria image globally. She is astute enough to understand this and honorably enough to strongly communicate this to the president without hesitation. You know, her position now as a minister of state for foreign affairs. All right. So she will actually converse on the release of Nam Dekano. Now, look at that other activists say this. Activist, activist lawyer Madhu Bauchi Idam described Bianca's ministerial appointment as a strategic move for the Southeast. Idam stated that a new minister will boost the chances of Namdekano release from detention and enhance the reputation of Tinubu's administration. He said the appointment of Bianca Ojuko as a minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria is a strategic and commendable political decision by Tinubu. Bianca's appointment, along with eventual release of Namdekano, will enhance the administration's image in the Southeast. Therefore, the president should be encouraged to take a step further by releasing Namdekano. That's what Idam said. Now, if you want to look at this, now let me tell you this. Why Tinubu will release Namdekano? This is the biggest hit. Number one, Tinubu bringing in Bianca Ojuku is get this. This this uh, strategy is get toward 2027, so that Tinubu will be able to garner votes from the southeast. All right. Now Tinubu himself releasing Nam Dekano either it could be before the end of this year or 2025. If Tinubu releases Nam Dekano early next year, all right, that will utterly boost his image in the international community and also help Tinubu to get. Sympathy votes from the southeast. If that will actually happen, all right, that will enable to enable to penetrate a little into the southeast. So that is why Tenebo will release Nam Dikan. It's a strategy, you know, politics now is a is a, a, is a thing of calculation. You calculate and know we you know south is very difficult. In the last election, Tenebo did not get a vote from from. From the southeast, he did not get a vote, and even the one they did in River State was rigged. Everybody know that the one on River State was rigged. Tinubu never got any votes from from Portaco, I mean from Rivers. He never did. All right, if Tinubu could lost out in Lagos State, I mean, then the, why will he win in River State and other places? You know, it, it wasn't possible. Tinubu lost out even in the FCT. To show you that the FCT residents were willing to welcome Peter Obi. So Tinubu might strategically do this, and in the runoff to the 2027 election, he might release Nam Dekano. He will definitely release Nam Dekano. But the question is, it might be through political dialogue. They might do a political negotiation. After all, all other people who were released, you know, where was Rike? Aside the Kubo and the rest of them, numerous people were released based on political solution. But the remain to be seen. There was a time Nam Dekano even accepted political solution. Nam Dekano accepted it. But it's not the willingness of the federal government to dialogue. If their dialogue will be favorable to Nam Dekano, and if it includes Nam Dekano dropping his agitation, that's where the problem will be.
That is where it will be. So several persons have been calling for Nam Dekano's release. And even Nam Dekano himself said that if he is released, that all this insecurity in the South is will be a thing of the past. So and that's what everybody is saying. All right. Now, recently, some uh, governors and uh, politicians from the South is messed with Minister of Justice. They met with the Minister of Justice to try to give Nam Dekano a soft landing for a political solution. And what... The Minister of Justice said that he is open to negotiation. That's what the news said, that he is open to negotiation. That means any time from now, there could be a political dialogue.